hey everyone i hope you all are doing well this is shubhi and welcome back to my channel so today i am at sungai bulo wetland reserve which is near the kranji reservoir and i am going to introduce to a friend of mine who is coming along with me to this uh, trip and she is going to introduce us to this place because she has been here so hello that's so, my friend shreya and she is going to tell us about this place sungai bulo wetland reserve yeah so tell us so we are hoping to see some crocodiles but if not we are definitely going to see some monitor lizard and this place is a haven for migratory birds crabs and other stuff so fingers crossed So the birds you see here are the real ones which are stuffed from inside it is called taxidermy which is to preserve the animal remain and make it look life like and here giving you a quick glimpse of mangrove gallery this is how it looks and this is the biggest mangrove patch in singapore i hope we see some monitor lizard at least here yeah i mean पहले बहुत हुआ। नाउ दिस वन हियर इज दैंटेल पॉट लेट्स गो आप just check out this amazing view from here guys the weather is quite breezy and it's just perfect So guys Sungai Buloh is a nature reserve which is in the northwest area of Singapore and it is the first wetlands reserve to be gazetted in Singapore in the year 2002. Along with mangroves you can get to see mud flats beautiful ponds a sanctuary for flora and fauna and guys to respect the ecosystem you are not allowed to get pets no cycling no smoking no feeding of animals no fishing no flying of drones no loud noises or music no scooters roller blades or skateboarding i know that there are a lot of no's but they are there for a reason and trust me guys it's all worth it and all you need to do is to just walk around and absorb the entire experience and beauty of this place Guys this place is known for the unusually high variety of bird species and is a stopover point for migratory birds from as far as siberia on their way to australia to escape the cold of the winters we saw an eagle right yeah Here we just came towards the eagle point and they are categorized as the high flyers of the reserve so if you are lucky you can certainly spot some of those
and the tiny ones which you see here are the growing mangroves. Now let's go a little further to see the bigger ones. Look at these ones guys. So being the home of the world's rarest mangroves, the Sungai Buloh Wetland Reserve is an internationally recognized site of importance. And here is some information for you guys to read. And also you'll get to see these crocodile signages almost everywhere. Zooming into the giant muscular spider, trust me guys, the light isn't that great, but it was really, really big. We saw this. Yeah, we, we saw, saw first this. two. The intertidal zone and the mid zone. We don't have a beach area here, so we can see this. I can hear something. And here we are trying to actively look for some kind of creatures, but no luck yet. Hey, it's Shreya unaware of what I'm doing and later thinking of clicking a picture and then finally realize it's a video instead. And that's our usual. We are trying to spot the crocodile here, but no luck yet again you know i think it's advisable to come like early mornings like the first slot we did see some tigers yeah and frogs a lot of frogs a lot of frogs and some frogs <laughs> <laughs> now moving towards the mud skipper pod guys by the way this reserve is also listed as singapore's first asian heritage park in 2003 with an area of 130 hectares Here ASEAN means Association of Southeast Asian Nations and this view is so calming. Going to this little adventurous activity to cross through. Seriously. This was actually quite a fun. And this bridge takes us to the other side. Finally found this cute little mud skipper. Just look at him. It's such a treat to watch him swim. <laughs> so we are around the dragonfly pond, and you can spot quite a few dragonflies here. So we have spotted a really big owl. It was huge, guys, but it's difficult to show more than this as it's quite far. I think it's the one of the largest owls I've seen. Yeah. आज तो नहीं है. No, no, thank you. Oh, there is one monitor lizard. Can you see? Oh yeah. So 
Bobby, are you happy? We saw the I dessert at least. Loved it. And finally we found something. And he's actually not giving a shit. We are going to Migratory Bird Trail. It's right at the Nature's Gallery. This is so secluded. Yeah. Uncle is carrying the mosquito bat. <laughs> Guys, this place is a home to a wide range of biodiversity, so there could be encounters with snake or even a crocodile. Also, we need to note one thing that many wild animals would only attack when provoked. So you don't need to be worried, but you still need to be really careful and please don't disturb them because it's their home. As you trek through this ecological wonderland, you will see a variety of mangrove and freshwater plants. In fact, you will be greeted by interesting fauna like mudskippers, crabs, shellfish, water snakes, bird, monitor lizards, along with snakes and crocodile, as I have already told you before. Guys, these observation hides are also available where visitors can observe the flora and fauna in peace and at a distance from the animals and birds. So we are at the migratory bird trail and we have already saw a couple of birds but they seem to be quite far from here so we are going to the watchtower and hopefully we'll get a better view. If you are visiting at the right time you may get a chance to see migratory shorebirds such as wimbrills, sandpipers, plovers and many other but their migration season is mostly during September to March. And this is how you learn to bird watch. We are on our way to the migratory bird trail. And there's a watchtower there, we are going to go there later. And that's Shubi trying to identify the birds. We have spotted the crocodile which is not ready to show up but you can see a tiny bit of it. Guys, apart from the migratory birds, you know, you can also find egrets and many resident birds like herons, bitterns, kingfishers, sunbirds and pigeons as well. It's a big one. Yeah. Okay, so guys, this one is the monitor lizard and you can see how big it is. Looks like he or she wants to come up but since we are around it's kind of avoiding so I think we will give it some space to freely roam and move away from here. The one you see in the front is the watchtower which is for a better view to spot the birds or other creatures. So let's go up and check it out. Yaha se we covered this much also. Okay. It's a big place man.
see. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a different color. Yeah. I think it's a brown mini pie. Here is yet another lovely spot to check out the amazing view and birds. You can see many birds including egrets and if you look closely, actually the ground is full of snails. Check this out. So guys, if you wish to take a break from the concrete city, then please head to this ecological gem for a breath of fresh air. Beautiful view. Back to the new main bridge. It's quite windy here right now. Almost sunset. Yeah, we are going towards the exit. To properly experience the wetlands, you can take the free guided tours and you can also opt for the activities like art classes and prawn farming demonstration based on the availability. And now we are heading towards a restaurant to relax and eat something. So guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to know more about me, then do follow me on Instagram. Also, please press the bell icon so that you will be notified for my next videos. I will see you soon with a new video. You take care guys and stay safe. Bye.